Welcome to this beautiful sunny day. I'm Christian from Virtual Tours. Your personal guide today. Come on, let's see exactly where we are on the globe right now. In Europe, in the middle of it, in the capital of Hungary, Budapest, where I guide you today. We start our tour with the Buda Castle District, which is part of the World Heritage. In its busy history, centuries of peace and war were interchanged. It was also the seat of kings. At the first point of our tour, you can find out why they are ringing at noon. Then we move on to Fisherman's Bastion, which is also part of the World Heritage, which was built on the 1000th anniversary of the Hungarian conquest 895, from 1895 for seven years. Among other things, close to the old fish market. Leaving these sites, we get there with a very rich historical past and an incredibly interesting, almost nowhere to be heard, shameful film with real, life written stories. A little further from the ornament square, entering the residential area of the Buda Castle, we continue our tour among wonderful palaces. World famous families have lived in this residential area to this day. They could enter the oldest pharmacy in the nearby Buda Castle, where they could buy aspirin if their heads ached. And they could even see the original Palace Athene statue who was also the patron saint of cities, completely actually shine, under the ornately carved corner balcony. Palace Athene, as an almost obligatory accessory of every city that already existed in the Middle Ages, looks at the statue of the artfully carved trinity standing here. On the right, we pass the Matthias Church, which also serves as the coronation church of several Hungarian kings. According to the legend, we can see a life-size relief of King Matthias, who lived in the Middle Ages and gave the name of the previous coronation church. Turning to Tang Sik Street, history comes to us in a great dose and spiced with interesting stories. For example, from the largest synagogue in medieval Europe to the American Marines. The building opposite is the National Archives. In this hundred-year-old beautiful palace you will find not only leaves, but also amazing treasures. The ornate tiles on the roof were made in a factory in July, which also supplies Arab sheiks with various porcelains. In addition to the many historical sites, there are, of course, people living here, for example, who relax in similar passages. In the beautifully restored residential houses, a detail of the earlier buildings flashes here and there, a stone stone or a stone frame of a gate. Arriving at Capistran Square, we are confronted by the imposing building of the Military History Museum. Then, you can get information about the Tower of Mary and one of the coronation symbols of the Hungarian kings, the Paslas, in the courtyard. I show again a bit that the Buda Castle, despite being a part of the world heritage, consists not only of museums and sculptures, but the people who live here really live their everyday lives and try to make their surroundings as homely and beautiful as possible. Here they make their photos for the family album. They accept eternal allegiance to each other. And they will wave to you happily. Or build a mini garden on the sidewalk smile. But not only the plants, but also the horses and the hussars and castle captains who do a lot for them are valued. Their memory is kept in their hearts. Stone statues are often replaced by live horses and their riders adorning their Hazar uniforms. The descendants of the Hazar start a battle for possession of the toys on a playground built in the contemporary style. Leaving the playground and the residential area of the Buda Castle District soon, 
Waiting for the uncle to cross the road in front of us here, we arrive in the palace area of the Buda castle. The first building of the Carmelite Monastery is also connected to a world-famous composer, Ludwig van Beethoven, who honored the castle and gave a concert here. The next, Sondor Palace also had former owners with very strange traffic habits. Say goodbye to you with the royal palace never inhabited by kings. Stay with me in my next videos too.